Hello everyone, welcome to another and the last video about prepositions, okay? Until today, we have already learned uh, prepositions according to time, according to place, and some other important prepositions we're going to learn in this video. If you have seen the last two videos about prepositions like prepositions according to time, prepositions according to place and if you are watching this video then I believe you'll never ever struggle again to use prepositions precisely in in your English speaking or writing okay so these are very 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 important and before coming into prepositions I also recorded a video of parts of speech so make sure you have watched all the previous three videos parts of speech prepositions according to time according to place and now you are watching this one if you haven't seen all the previous three videos go back and watch those and then come here okay or at least watch parts of speech video and then come here okay so let's learn uh, uh, the remaining and some other important prepositions but before starting uh, this video or uh, the the uses of prepositions let me tell you or let me just repeat what the prepositions are okay so prepositions are actually the words alone they have no meaning but once they are used in a sentence they clarify the meaning of the sentence and these words are called prepositions like on of in at from this kind of words okay so let's learn some other important prepositions in this video so let's start the first one you see here is from okay from and uh, this is used for to use to show the origin of something or someone like someone is from uh, from some place for example uh, you know where are you from you may say I am from China I am from America I am from UK okay the rhythm of something okay next used to show the material of which something is made okay so we can say the bed is made from wood okay the laptop is made from plastic okay and uh, the last one here is used to show a change in the state of someone or something for example from good to bad okay from bad to good whatever okay so let's look at some examples where are you from i am from italy okay so here uh, showing the origin of something or someone okay and the second one used to show the material uh, material of which something is made the desk is made from pine okay pine i i guess is kind of a tree okay used to show a change in the state of someone or something things went from bad to worse okay so uh, it's a change in a state of something or someone now let's move on to the next one of okay so used to show possession belonging or origin something that you possess something uh, maybe uh, showing uh, some belonging or some origin okay for example here you see here a friend of mine okay or i uh, you know uh, a cell phone of my mine okay whatever you want to say some kind of position belonging or origin next one use after words or phrases expressing amount number or particular unit a kilo of apples okay give me two kilos of sugar whatever okay an amount a number or something okay so this is used of is used for these two purposes as preposition okay next by used to show the person or thing that does something used to show the person or thing that does something for example i'm reading some short stories written by chiku i guess is maybe a chinese i don't know but written by some writer okay or i am you know uh, watching a movie produced by tom cruise whatever okay so used to show the person or thing that does something next one on so i guess we have already learned this preposition on 
when we were learning prepositions according to time, according to time, uh, uh, its uses we have learned, according to places uses we have learned. And today we're going to learn a couple of more uses of on, used for showing some methods of traveling, okay? Entering a public transport or vehicle. So here, uh, when I was actually uh, having, uh, or when I was recording with you about prepositions according to time or I think according to place, I described this thing and today we can look into more detail. So used for showing some methods of traveling and public transport we use on and also the methods of traveling. So here are some examples. It'd be, it'd be quicker to get hit there on foot or on horse. So here, methods of traveling, okay. I'm traveling on my bike or I'm riding my bike, okay. So here, get on the train, get on the train. So entering a public transport. So you may say, I'm getting on the train, I'm getting on the bus, I'm getting on the plane, whatever, okay. So let's uh, travel on the bus. Let's travel on the train. Next one. In, entering a car or taxi. Just for car or taxi, we use in, and for other kind of public transport, we use on, okay? Here, she got in the car and drove fast. Le okay, I am getting in the taxi. Next one. Off, leaving a public transport vehicle, like she got off the bus, I'm getting off the train, I'm getting off the plane, whatever. Next one. Out of, leaving a closed vehicle or building. Okay, she got off the car, she got off the school, she got off uh, the bureau, whatever, leaving a closed vehicle or a building, okay? Sorry, she got out of the car, she, uh, you know, uh, got out of the building, whatever. Next one. Buy. Used to show some, uh, you know, measurements or amounts. Used to show measurements or amounts or Traveling other than walking or horse riding. Traveling other than walking or horse riding. Okay. Examples. Their wages were increased by 12%. So now uh, in, in, in our country, the budget, the annual budget is about to announce. So you can use this to tell someone that the government employees pension have increased by 20% or 30%. I've, I've heard the news that there are they're planning to increase at least 50 or 30% in, in this year's budget. Okay, next one. She went by car, she went by bus, or she went by train, okay? Traveling other than walking or horse riding. Okay, next one. At, for age, okay? And very easy. In theory, women can still have children at the age of 40, uh, sorry, 50. At the age of 50, I uh, I played my first video game at the age of 10. Okay, I started learning English at the age of 15. Whatever you want to say. Next one about on the subject of or concerned with about on the subject of or connected with. Sorry, not concerned. Connected with. Okay, example. What's the book about? What's that book about? Okay, on the subject of or connected with. What's, this, uh, what's that book about? What are you reading about? What are you thinking about? Okay, so a very useful one. And this is the last uh, other important preposition that was remaining. And now I have concluded, I've you know, uploaded all the videos or prepositions on my YouTube channel. So you can watch and learn the precise use of prepositions according to time, according to place. And this was the last video of prepositions in which we learned some other important prepositions. So I hope you have no problem or no issue to understand and use these prepositions. In case if you have, you are welcome to uh, write your queries or questions in the comment section and I'll be happy to reply to them as soon as possible. So take care of yourself. Okay, take care of your families and uh, keep watching, keep learning well. I'll see you in the next video and that would be about a new topic. And very soon I'm going to start videos about IELTS tests. So keep following my channel and keep watching these videos. 
bye bye i'll see you in the next video about a new topic